guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 920. Oh my god, it's like the 20th day. Let me. Vlogmas Day 20. That is insane. Christmas is five days away. What? Where? <sighs> so fast. Okay. Um, so today I'm obviously doing so much better than yesterday. Um started my day forgot to set my alarm it's okay i woke up at 6 <laughs> but yeah forgot to set my alarm and um my mom is here today actually not right now she went out but she's here with me um she made me some breakfast earlier she helped me clean a little because i was like hey mom like i actually really need help with cleaning because you guys are gonna come over um so yeah she helped me out a little bit with that, but my mom cleans like a toddler. She's like, oh, I'm just gonna throw things where you can't see them. Like, I just went to my bathroom and everything was like in a drawer. I'm like, oh my god. Like, just organize it. Um, but yeah. So today, I still need to edit my vlog from yesterday. And I'm gonna take you guys somewhere. Mmm, so much fun. It's called a posada. Um, I believe, so I looked a little bit into it, not too much, just because I wanted to see the origins. And, um,. If you don't know, uh, Mexico was invaded by the Spaniards. So they actually brought this tradition over from Spain. So I think it's originally from Spain and now like it's done in Mexico. Um, so what it is, it's, I wanna say it's a celebration um, about the journey that Mary and Joseph did. Um, and they're asking for, posada means like you're asking for um, for like a night, like if someone came to your house, like, hey, like uh, we've been traveling, like can we please, like can you give us shelter for one night? So um, it's it's really fun because there's like, um, well first it's just like uh, food and you're with family and it's like Christmas theme, it's really nice. And then um, what happens is you actually, Everyone that's there splits up into two. So there's two groups. And everyone gets either a candle, I think, or some kind of light. I don't know why. I don't know what the significance of that is. If you know, well, let me know. But um, you kind of recreate um, the asking for like the, um, the night at the place. So one group goes outside and one group goes inside and they're singing, there's a song. And in the song, it's like, oh, like, I ask you, I don't know it in English, but it's like, uh, the inside group sings, like, oh, like, who are you, da da da, this and that, and the, then the outside group sings, we're like, hey, like, we're Mary and Joseph, and like, we've been traveling, we're asking for, like, the night, and then it goes back and forth and back and forth. I think there's, like, each one sings, like, four or five verses? And you're supposed to like go around different like openings of the house so like you'll start at the door maybe you'll go to a window if there's another door you go there um and at the end like um the outside people come in so and then you just like sing the end of the song and then yeah <laughs> i don't know um i'll record some of it and post it so you guys can see but it's i think i was seeing that traditionally it's from the 16th up until the 24th of December that it's usually done and anyone can do this um like you just say hey guys I'm gonna throw a posada this day show up and I was like what shall I bring so I'm bringing some food and yeah it should be fun it's just like a family gathering you know for the holidays and stuff so yeah that's that's how my day's going <laughs> Hope everyone's doing great. Um, I've actually been looking at apartments and scheduling a couple tours. I scheduled one on Friday, which I really this Christmas Eve. I feel bad for the people that are working there, but I mean, I'm, I'm done at 11, so I'm like, well, and I'm pretty much done with my shopping. All I need to do is wrap presents, but my mom is here, so I'll wrap tomorrow. Um, and if I wrap, I have more content to show you guys. So tonight, I'll show you guys the, um, the posada, and then tomorrow I'll record the Christmas wrapping. I love, love wrapping presents, I do. Because I'm very like meticulous and particular. So like, like oh, this, this, this crease, like creases make me happy, especially when they're straight. 
don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I just wanted to check in because it's new and I haven't. And now it's because my mom was here. Oh, I need to do my nails too. Well, I'm gonna wrap presents tomorrow, so maybe I'll do them Thursday. I just finished editing yesterday's vlog. Oh my god. I included the part of me where I was very emotional, uh, where I was very reactive. And I still don't know, like, um, it just really caught me off guard, I guess. Um, I don't know. And I decided to include it because it's a part of life, you know? Um, you're not always happy, you're not always sad, you're not always perfect. I'm not perfect in any way and I was just... <laughs> that was the, like my morning, like that was 7 a.m. when that happened. And that just kind of like set the trajectory for the day. It's very weird, um, but I mean, ups and downs are a part of life, and I don't know, time to move on, I guess, like, move on with life, like, keep going, don't get stuck in the past, you know? Um, so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna ask, if you guys are naked this far, I don't know. Um, is the music too loud? Um, and let me know if the music is too loud or not, or if it's fine. Because to me, I mean, it's just different, I guess, when I when I do it. Even when I'm listening to it, I'm like, oh, that sounds too loud. Like, I'll put it down, but then, I don't know, just let me know about the volume for the music specifically. I do try to like lower it when I'm talking and it's a little bit higher when I'm not, when there's like um, like things going on, like uh, the time lapses and stuff. So yeah, I do try to like control that part. Um, what was I gonna say? Also, oh yeah, like, I mean, I, I don't like to see myself as a victim, ever, at all. And I think when I was rewatching that, I was just like, am I putting myself in that victim mentality that I don't want to be in? And then I realized like, no, like I'm just processing my emotions because I'm not trying to blame anyone, I'm just, processing my emotions like I am like literally that's why I recorded it to like get things out because I'm not one to just call a friend and be like hey this just happened to me like and lay everything on them I don't like to to put my emotional like needs onto someone else you know, um, I know very few people watch this, so I think in a way, like, I really use this as, like, a way, I don't know, like, it's just, it's just a part of life, and there's no point in hiding feelings or things like this, because everyone experiences, everyone experiences breakups differently, everyone goes through a different process, you know, um, so, just know that it's not it's just me processing my own my own emotions and my own feelings and um <laughs> that's how i recorded it and then yesterday i was talking to my sister and she said i mean you know like you don't have to be perfect like it's just like daily vlogging and if it's what happened like it's what happened and it's a part of life um uh, oh my phone is ringing i should have to so my video is live. 
and I am very like I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm like, oh my god, not like I guess anxious because it's a very personal one. Um, I don't know, like deep down, part of me cares what people think. Like I'm nervous that it'll come off wrong or if it'll like you know like someone will be like nah, 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 like say something bad about me because as i said like i'm processing and then i explain it afterwards and then it's just it's about my own process and how i process things um but everyone has the right to their own opinion i guess um so this is what it is to share um, and then I took a quick shower right now. Um, I took Adderall at my afternoon Adderall. I took a shower. Um, I really like taking afternoon showers <laughs> because it's like it resets me. I'm like, oh, like okay, I'm ready. Like I'm gonna finish my day strong. You know, it's like another like little yeah. So, um, but yeah, I was actually looking up yesterday tips on how to help people wake up. <laughs> early when you are for example like me i don't know if i'm a heavy sleeper but i know let me cover some but i know that i sleep through my alarms a lot um unless like i really have to um i tend to sleep through my alarms and i thought i turned it on but yeah i just i really do want to want to be um a morning person i really do want to be able to wake up five i think right now my goal is to wake up at 5 a.m um so um what was i saying oh yeah so i um i don't have an account about uh, i don't have an accountability partner but i do want to wake up early i want to wake up at five and doing that like I know I need to get in the habit of it, um, but I tend to lose my habits uh, over time. <laughs> like, for example, like my, sorry, my vitamins and stuff. Like, for two, three weeks, I literally haven't taken them consistently. Um, I think it was, like, it's just, I don't have a very consistent schedule, like, consistent routine. So maybe that's what it is. Uh, maybe I need, like, the consistent routine, um, which I was trying to establish before but i haven't yet and the holidays and i'm like nah <laughs> so um yeah maybe it's 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 gonna be my my i think my new year's resolution is gonna be to have like a schedule like a strategic schedule um but starting right now i don't want to wait until new year's to start like waking up at five i'm like okay start that today like what you don't have to wait until like new year's or like the monday or whatever just start today um because like why are you waiting i say that and then i do that like when i'm like i'm gonna work out and then start tomorrow but yeah well, like what are you waiting for um i know a trick for certain things is like oh do it for two minutes and then you'll see like if you want to read a book for 20 minutes or an hour or something just first set it up for two minutes um i read atomic habits and i think one of the examples was like this guy wanted to start going to the gym every day so he started out by just getting himself in the habit like i think i think at first he would just put on his workout clothes like every day for like i don't know i'm just gonna say two weeks or whatever if you read it you know if not just follow along so he started out say for two weeks like just putting on his gym clothes and then the next two weeks, he put on his gym clothes and then he drove to the gym. Like, he just drove to the gym. He was getting into the habit of, like, making the time to drive there. And then after that, say it was, like, maybe another two weeks, he'd go to the gym. He would put on his clothes, drive to the gym, and work out just for, like, five minutes. Or just step inside and then leave or something. So it's, like, building that re repetitive pattern, like, slowly. And not just being, like, well, I'm going to go every day to the gym for, like, an hour. Because it's difficult. You know, if it's something that you don't enjoy, like, it's hard to do. It is. We, I think naturally we don't want to do things that are difficult. We just want to make things that are easy. Do things that are easy. That's why, you know, like, people pay money for phones, for, like, 
TV, I don't know, like, because it just makes life, life easier. If it makes your life easier, you're gonna do it. Like, car, right? It's so much easier, especially living in the US, having a car and driving around than waiting for our crappy trans public transportation system, you know, because cities won't fix it and they won't make them efficient. So, um, it's about what's, what's, um, yeah, we do what we like and what makes our lives easier. Um, for example, for me, I've talked in the past how like I recently kind of like changed my diet, eating like more healthy and I felt super good, super great. Like I wake up like no pains at all. Like I was waking up with aches and pains, like literally my back would hurt, like my lower back, like my hips, my ankles, like everything would hurt. And then I just changed my diet and all of a sudden it's like no pain. Like none. Like I just wake up and I'm good. Like it's crazy. Um, but it makes sense because you know what you eat, your body is like taking it and it's turning it into a part of you, right? Like we don't can like our cells are constantly dying and we're making new cells. So where the new cells come from, you know, like the energy, but like that energy is coming from the food that we're eating. So anyway, I'm not a science doctor person, but I understand that. So it just, it just makes sense. That's how it, I think of it. That's how it makes sense to me because before I thought I was eating healthy, like in my mind, I've always eaten healthy, but I just got busy and I would start eating out and I would like be like, oh my God, I'm craving like chicken nuggets, chicken nuggies. <laughs> So I'd go and get some chicken nuggies, but yeah, no, um, I started, I think because it's winter, it's made it really easy, like, I would make soup, I made soup, these past two weeks has been really difficult to eat it, um, I think it's because it's the same soup, <sighs> I'm just gonna get tired of it, so I need to find new recipe <laughs> or something, like, I feel like I need to change, I can't, like, I get ADHD, I get bored of the same thing, so I think I need to develop a routine that I can, like, maybe, like, swap, maybe I'll be like, okay, this month I'm doing this, this month I'm doing that, or something, I don't know, if anyone watching this, if you relate to this, and you've figured it out, let me know, because I'm still trying to figure it out, ah. um, what else was I gonna say, I forgot what I was gonna be talking about, yeah, point is, I love afternoon showers because now I feel super good, super ready to go. I'm gonna finish my work, finish strong, and then go to the posada and take you guys with me. It's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. <laughs>
Safe and sound in one piece. I'm gonna get ready for bed and pack. 